another Ryan eyebrow transformation. Ryan got me some pretty, pretty flowers. I'm just so sad to look at. And we're gonna see the movie split at five. I hit 10,000 subscribers. Cheers to going to cool colleges. UCF is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Very impressed. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Saturday, and we are about to go to get Ryan's eyebrows done. Another Ryan eyebrow transformation. Are you excited? They're not bad this time. They're really bad. He just has a lot of sparse hairs at the top and the bottom, so he's just gonna get them cleaned. You need a Brazilian thread job. <laughs> we were gonna go to the beach today, but the weather is just really bad, so we're just not gonna do that. We're gonna go to Winter Park, we're gonna hit up Briar Patch, we haven't been there in a while, so that should be fun. And then we are gonna walk around there. There's this, like thrift shop called the Avalon, I think it's called the Avalon. It's not a paid promotion. It's like more of a consignment store because they sell um, nicer brands than like Play-Doh's Closet does. And so I got like a really cool free people dress last time for like maybe like 20 bucks or something. So I want to go in there and he does too. I found a really nice North Face rain jacket that I should have bought and I regret so much because I, I need it like every day in Athens. A rain jacket? Yeah, it's like a, um, it's like a really nice North Face one. Yeah. With the, the collar and the cuffs and everything. Yeah. Should have bought it like bucks. <laughs> I was like, I don't need it that much and I didn't need it. So funny story. Last night when Ryan was opening his gift, when he picked me up, like the tripod, oh my god. I'm gonna email them and talk to them about it because this has not happened just once and it broke two of my lenses. I literally had to, well the first time I was able to um, get it sent in and repaired, but the second time, like I should show you guys. I should show you guys how bad it broke. Like I literally started like, obviously crying like that's just my first reaction last night i overnighted a lens um off amazon so it got here this morning which is so awesome because i thought it was not gonna get here until 9 p.m tonight and i was gonna be really sad because ryan's only here for like a day but we are here at venus brow and we're gonna go in where are we park station <laughs> <laughs> Why are we here? Because Brian Patch is too busy. Too busy for us. So rude. Loyal customers. Come on. Yeah. But the place is really cool around. Right yeah. Very rustic. That's not my house. It literally says right. American rustic. Well, American you know, rustic. My house can be rustic so. We got our food. I got the chicken and waffles. It looks amazing. There's like onion rings and like hollandaise sauce on it too. And he got the melting pot omelet. And he's like loving this coffee right now. He's saying it's like almost the best one he's ever had. Look how cute that puppy is. There's Yorkies everywhere and it makes me so sad. I miss new cheap. What'd you just get? Got hydrangeas. Ryan bought them for me. About time. She's been asking for like three years. <laughs> all she likes is these. Yeah, that's what he says. That's not all I like. I just really like these. But like, I bought them at the Lucky's Farmer Farmers Market, and they literally died two days after. So let's have these down. Like, like I'm a uh, it's you over, it? kind of mm -hmm. in like metal wood area behind. Mm -hmm. You know, everything in the middle is so cool. These are like, like fresh, like we thought organic. Mm -hmm. Ryan got me some pretty, pretty flowers. It's a cheap date, it's only four dollars. True. And I'm gonna put it in the middle of all the roses he got me for Valentine's Day. I think it's gonna be really pretty. These better not freaking die on me, I swear. Just cut this off, mash it. Okay, can you can you help me and show me? Okay. So I'm at Avalon Exchange right now. I'm in the dressing room trying on some stuff. So this is one of them and I actually kind of like it. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick. So it's like a really cute top. It's a little bit cropped. The design's really pretty, so I think it'd be like a good going out top or just like wearing it to brunch one day. 
I think that'd be better like to brunch. We'll see. Thank gosh for Ryan. He's adding um, coolant to my car because my AC is like running warm and it's so hot right now and we're dying so we like had to pull over and do it really quick. All right, let's start it. Funny. Yeah, it does smell funny. It's very cool, actually. Yay, Ryan fixed my AC. Thank you. Love you. You're nice and sweaty in here. I know. I'm Thank sure. you. Yeah. Okay, here is the long awaited. I'm just kidding. You guys probably didn't even care about this, but I decided to show you because I think it's so funny, slash, so terrifying <laughs> that I dropped my lens this hard. And that it is literally destroyed. Okay. First of all, let's blame it on this stupid tripod right here. I don't, I think it's called Joby or like the Gorilla Pod. Like, just don't freaking buy these because, like, this part got loose up here. When it just like moved a little bit, it literally just fall off. Like, the ball literally just fell off it. So, I really don't freaking recommend these. So, once one of these actually pops off, it's really loose and it's really easy for them to pop off. So like this one is really loose so it can never stand up. Like it always like falls flat or something like that really easily. And it's supposed to have a lot of tension but like when these pop off, the tension like doesn't work anymore. So it's stupid. Like once one of them pops off, this is literally like a paperweight cause it just doesn't work. And it sucks because I, I like the whole idea of having the ability to like mold and shape like where, how you want it, but it just like doesn't work. It's just so sad to look at. This is the worst. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but it just makes me really sad to see it like that. So it literally just dropped and then just this whole thing shattered into like all these pieces. And silly me just was crying, trying to put it back together, thinking I could just like put it back together. Like, no. Who do you think you are, Sonali? Not an engineer, that's who. So it was this lens, the kit lens that comes with um, the Sony a 5100 that broke. So sad. Like, I don't want to keep this though because like I think I could probably like use this for like a DIY if I ever need it. I don't know. I just don't want to like trash it. That would be sad. ATO boy over here. It's 4.45 and we're gonna see the movie split at five. We're on our way to the movie theater in Waterford Lakes. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's a Regal, I'm not really sure, but I've been wanting to see this movie ever since I saw all the trailers like on YouTube before like the YouTube videos and stuff. And I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, so I'm excited to see for myself like if it's good or not. Um, I heard the ending was really bad and I do love spoilers. I literally tell people to tell me the end, which is like weird, but it's starting to rain, so it's perfect time to watch a movie. Hey Carl, look at this. So what'd you think oh. of the movie? <laughs> what'd you think of the movie? Um, I'm a little overcritical of movies. Yeah. So like the whole time I was like, oh, I'm gonna just kill this guy. You, you're kidnapped, you know, in his basement. There's a mirror hanging on the wall. And I was like, just break the mirror, stab the guy, you know? And I was like, I'd do anything to get out of there. And she had a necklace on, I was like, just strangle the guy. He's like, he's like, he can be a, like a nine year old or whatever they said. Mm. You know, just, just talk to the nine year old and strangle him, you know, and he can't fight back. What do you think about it? I mean, it's definitely a well done movie. I just, I was really critical of it, I think. Sorry if we gave you any. I don't know. I wish there was like a little bit more drama. It well, was, actually, you're, yeah, you're kind of right. It was kind of like. You predict when the big stuff was going to happen. It was just kind of like when it, like when is the big like climax gonna happen? It was like really long. If you're not like in like a mood to watch a dark, pretty it's pretty dark and twisted. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it's like you know it taps in like some like weird areas. Yeah, I'm glad I saw it because I feel like if I didn't see it, I would definitely be wondering what that movie would be like. Etc. Etc. How many ketchups do you need? I give you two. Two. I got burger five. Oh my god guys, I hit 10,000 subscribers. It's not focusing, but thank you guys so much for subscribing me and supporting me and watching me. And this is a very artsy picture of this with my ketchup in the background, but <laughs> thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. Good thing we got that cake to celebrate, huh? And we didn't even know it. Good morning. 
Good morning. We did get some all night through here. Wow. First time you've ever saying that to me. First time being on a vlog knowing he's on a vlog. <laughs> okay, never mind. This is my dear friend Ivan. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> he's my stylist. Can you pick us up? I don't have a text for you. I have no say what I wear anymore. What are we eating right now? Is it, are, we, are we live? Yes, we're live. Aren't these what you call. What are they called? Cool. Buckeyes? Aren't these Buckeyes? Uh, no. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you put them all in your mouth? <laughs> what? Oh, hi. You can't I enjoy it. Bite it. I really hurt my What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Do you like it? I like it. Hey. 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 How excited are you to wake up in like T minus two hours for your flight? Uh, I'm like native too. I had five people ask me if I go to UGA. One was from Georgia. The other people said, oh, I know people in fraternity there. <laughs> and, and three other were like, oh, FSU, but U UGA is awesome, Athens is awesome. Cheers to going to cool colleges. UCF is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Very impressed. Thanks. Keep doing you, UCF. <laughs> you look so sweaty. I am sweaty. <laughs> I walked like a quarter mile. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was not even that far. <laughs> so I don't know if this is gonna be our last time vlogging because we literally have to wake up. I'll, I'll vlog them far. Yeah, you will? Okay. Yeah. Well, we have to wake up really, really early for his flight tomorrow morning. Um, well, t t today morning. <laughs> <laughs> this morning? Um, this morning. I had a good time. Good weekend, my girl. Weekend. It was she literally a, a day. Not pretty she looks though. She lost so much weight. She got so fit. I didn't lose so any proud weight. Of her. She was so good. If anything, good, I gained weight. I had a really good time, honestly. Yay! I'm glad. 10 out of 10 UCF. I'm glad you could come and see the difference because and I feel like it motivates me more to know that like it's working, you know what I mean? Oh, you're working out? Yeah. You're really, you look a lot better, seriously. Thanks. But I'm gonna take my makeup off and hit the hay, so I'll see you guys in literally less than three hours. Hey guys, we're on the way to the airport. It's actually five o'clock right now. Dot. On the dot, yeah. We left at 4:30 ish. We're about to pull into my terminal, but this is the last time I'll get to talk to you guys until spring break. So I hope you guys but it's gonna be exciting enjoy. Because I'm going to ride spring break in Destin, and I've been wanting to go back since ever since like senior year. We always go to Destin, Florida, for like um, in high school for high school spring breaks. So I've been just like literally craving Dustin slash Seaside so much. So I'm excited to be able to go back. And I am missing school, but honestly, like I feel like much needed. And I don't really miss school that often. I'm excited because those will be really fun vlogs. It's gonna be the most fun I've actually had in UCF. Yeah. Top, well, top three definitely. It's gonna be more familiar, I guess. You know, it's not as like yeah. No, I can actually like, kind of know people. It's gonna be more fun. I can see why she likes it, but. Nothing like that at Georgia home. True. It's so weird. I haven't been home in like forever. And it makes me sad to like think about it, you know? Yeah. Because I don't even know when I'll be home. Probably like summer. I'm gonna probably end the vlog here. So thanks for watching, guys. And thanks again for 10,000 subscribers. It makes me so happy. I mean, by the time this vlog's up, it's probably like gonna be like past that. But, um,. I just want to say thank you. I wanted to get her some balloons, <laughs> but she literally told me while we're sitting eating burger fry, <laughs> and this is no way I could get to Publix or somewhere to get her balloons at that point. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.